Hey team, and welcome back. In this episode, we continue on our territory trip, and we go for a hunt with the boys Chucky and Wardy. First, we stop into the pub to have some lunch before heading out to the station. As mentioned in the last video, just about every regional pub has its own pet buff or crocodile, and this one has a big old boar too. Wow, look how big he is. <laughs> We then continue on to the station where we spend the rest of the Arvo setting up camp and catching up with mates and decide and get up early and go for a hunt. So we're just out for a morning run. Maybe we didn't get anything last night. Had a few beers though. Fucking oath. <laughs> it was alright. Um, yeah, just going to hit the same spot. And yeah, before we go for a big run for the day. Woody, what's your dogs? It's a little bull, two little bull Arab bitches from yeah. the boys. Yeah, little Betty and Lily. Hey guys, how are you all? What do you reckon, Chuck? Hopefully they get something. What are you eating there, mate? Strawberries are really nice. Eating <laughs> strawberry? Snacks. Strawberry for a strawberry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that, that mould must come out of here. Copy. 6.55. Yeah. When we caught up to the dogs, they all went different ways. So Chucky and I went out to where his dog was, and she had a crack of ball bowed up. Good girl. Really? Good boy. Even though it was morning, it was getting hot fast, and she was struggling to get a hold of him. Good girl. Good girl. On the way to Wardy's dogs, I seen more pigs. So I let out Jax and Lou and chased after them and we got a good sour. As you can see, Lou's not very hard. He's dangerous. But yeah, he's run on. So hopefully he gets another one. Holy shit, I wish I... Gosh, you should have seen that was fucking... Hectic. Oh, it was we got to go. There's something going on out there. Right? Something was going on, all right. I was yelling out to Dan and the dogs for help. Holy! Did I bite the rifle? Yeah. Lucky Lou has a good set of ears on him, and him and Jax ran out to Chucky and I with the big boar. The dogs were getting hot at this stage, and we didn't get any hit-up footage as we had to get in there and dispatch the pig fast for the dog's safety. Dogs jumped in the block where we thought the pigs were going to be and then they ended up, they'd left before we were there. So they ran a fair way and got this fella and another good fella over there. Yeah, good work by the good bitch. Work. Smart. Anyway, to hang until help arrives, like, mm. very smart. I might as well run hairy dogs if you're going to bail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Jeez, he's fat. I've got a 40 foot. The air is so thick here this morning, it's bloody human. Okay, the dollar dog split up off that first whiff and then coming in, I just had that little blue bull ab there. And she would come in, she'd get an absolute flog and ripped the collar off her. So I, couldn't, I, I, didn't know, I thought I was going to have to shoot it. <laughs> and um, that little Kelpie yeah. dog of yours come in and hit it like a pity and she had him covered. Yeah, so I was just interested in what sort of tuckers around. So it's a K-Pok and it's not really good for anything. It's just got... um. Cotton, in it, like right? cotton, yeah, like a cotton seeds, and yeah. a real pretty flower, apparently. Beautiful <laughs> yellow flower. Yeah.
after a quick morning run, we headed back to camp to pack some lunches and head out for the day for a mission. You are pretty hot, but your bag was a bit hotter. <laughs> Oi, every he, now and then you catch he's, fire. He's not my type, but... <laughs> he's pretty hot. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. No word of just... a lie, there was like a massive flame. Oh yeah, no, I could, I could feel it under my thighs. can catch fire every now and then. It's all this little stuff that rests up against your muffler and sets you on fire. No lie. That was insane. That was insane. Boy, it was a ridiculously large flame. That was. Can Ams are renowned for it, but our buggy was hot too, but it didn't catch on fire. But yeah, it's so humid. Any buggy would catch on fire with a bit of, a bit of stick clean up against it. So much. Come back, we're going to get moving. It's getting too hot. Yeah. Uh, so what's the plan, Ward? We're just going to check some billabongs? Yeah, check the folk up here. Check the string of billabongs. We had eight billabongs. There's folk up here the side of them. Sweet. Thanks, honey. We head into some thicker timber country behind the swamps and we see a young buffalo. And not long after, Wardy was onto a good ball. I got in, they caught it right on the edge of the water first. And broke away and bloody you know, 180 or something away. A little bit of pressure on the dogs, but you're right. Good one. Yeah, good one. Now, Dill. Hey. Wow, wow, what you guys got? Oh, See, Bill. Come on. Can stay still, please. Yeah, all in all the tail. Nah. Good for Lou. I think went out, uh, jumped off at that swamp and went out um, 300. And yeah, got that there. I think the boys are up there and they've got a sow I can hear. Get in. 
After hitting that mob on the springs, we all end up getting six pigs between us. We then decided to head back to camp and call it a day. We'd just like to thank Chucky and Tamara and Wardy and Anna for taking us out for a great hunt. Thanks for watching and make sure you're subscribed to receive notifications of the next up and coming videos.